क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends. In the previous topic, we have discussed about the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on ferrous sulfate, and now in this topic, we are going to talk about the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on potassium iodide. So, what is the reaction? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, in the previous lecture, I have discussed about the two-step reaction, and that is what we have discussed about. That is how basically K2Cr2O7 has an effect on the ferrous sulfate. But now in this topic, I am going to talk about a single-step reaction. So in that case, we see suppose if I am talking about K2Cr2O7, and that also in an acidified condition. So that's the reason that it will react with six moles of Ki, along with that of I am just introducing that is H2SO4, and that makes the solution to be more acidic. So that's the reason that is the product that is what we could get. We could get that is four moles of K two SO four along with that of that is Cr along with that of Cr two SO four thrice that is chromic sulfate along with that of seven moles of H two and that is three moles of I two. So the solution that is what we understand that is it is orange red in color. But now after the reaction has happened, obviously there is an evolution of iodine gas and this will make the solution to be brownish in color and that. Also indicates that the reaction has occurred. So therefore, this is nothing but the reaction of K2Cr2O7 with potassium iodide, and this is the product that is what we could get. So that's it. So thank you, friends, for watching this video. I hope you have understood this reaction very clearly, and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you so much.